If Chelsea does not sack Potter now, the club will go to relegation. God forbid, Chelsea is mourning because of Graham Potter's incompetence. What kind of manager is this? He knows he is not capable of managing Chelsea yet he won't resign. Every small weak club is beating Chelsea anyhow. Meanwhile, we spent much more than any club in Europe in the previous January transfer window and got better great players but we are still being dragged on the grounds. Potter is our biggest problem. He is not a coach for Chelsea but the other small weaker clubs. Potter must leave now. Enough is enough. Potter pack your stuff and go. Sack Potter immediately. He is Chelsea's problem. Sack him. Borussia Dortmund 1-0 defeat against Chelsea. Karim Adeyemi scored the only goal of a tight affair at the Westfalen Stadion, as Graham Potter's men suffered defeat in the first leg of their Champions League last 16 clashes. When Chelsea gets themselves a high-class striker in the summer they will be some team. Until then, Graham Potter will have to sit and suffer as his side continues to misfire in the Champions League as well as the Premier League. The numbers make for nervous reading if you're of a blue persuasion. One goal was scored in their last four in all competitions. Three in their last eight. When you can't keep the back door shut, such areas of deficiency come back to bite you. Spare a penny for the thoughts of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, picking up his substantial wages for watching the Champions League on TV. Also, the person was at Stamford Bridge who believed they couldn't even get to the end of this season without the point man who knows where the goal is. That individual is in for a tricky next few months. Because Chelsea should have been heading back to London with the advantage heading into the second leg. Instead, the man bought to replace Erling Haaland, Karim Adeyemi, handed the edge to the home side. The 21-year-old's third goal in as many games stretched Dortmund's winning streak to seven games in a row. Beep beep, and off he goes, said Dortmund boss Eden Terzic afterwards. It was a well-defended corner kick. His first touch was great so that he could accelerate with the second. He is very difficult to defend against if he can accelerate. We showed him a clip at half-time when he had a chance to go past the centre-back in the first half and he didn't. It was an outstanding goal and we hope he can continue like this because it is a weapon and very hard to defend against. It also gave the finishing touch to the Germans' attractive approach to play that Chelsea didn't have. And the best chances did fall to the Blues before Dortmund went ahead. First, running through the middle, Joao Felix somehow contrived to send an effort over the bar that you or I would have at least tested the keeper with, from just inside the box on the half hour. Then the 23-year-old, on loan from Atletico Madrid, was picked out again in the box. This time with a ball in from the right sent courtesy of Kai Havertz. Again, with a bit of composure, Felix would have sent Chelsea ahead. Instead, he lifted it over keeper Gregor Kobel with too much power and smacked the crossbar. In the second half, Felix repeatedly found Kobel when an effort on either side of the keeper would have had him in trouble. If Todd Burley, Bedadek Bali and the people with the power at Chelsea hold their nerve and wait until the summer, they only need to add a finisher to what is already a promising new team, then watch the new Chelsea go. As early as the fifth minute, a sweeping move caught Chelsea cold and carved the Londoners apart. As wide man Julian Brandt tried to add the finishing touch, however, his shot was blocked. On the counter, Chelsea counter, Mikhailo Mudrik was tackled superbly by Nico home centre-back Schlotterbeck just as the Ukrainian had entered the box. And so it went on as Dortmund searched for openings. Potter deserves patience if the Chelsea project, with so many young players, is going to work. Thankfully the owners have gone on record as saying they will give it to him. The fans could be a different matter. So, what do you think about immediately blasting Potter and restoring him with a better manager? Leave comments below. Please, subscribe for more Chelsea stories, gossip and more. Sack Potter now. Chelsea, the Blues.